Alrighty then, successful indie author, 5-Minute Focus, episode 441, You Don't Know What You Don't Know. There's Stanley. He's, he's jonesing to go out, which we will. He, he just had his breakfast, though. He's fine. Alright, you don't know what you don't know. So, for people who have not yet published, how do you learn? 20 books to 50K, uh, look, listen to the stories of others, talking to others, uh, asking questions. However, at the end of the day, the best way to learn is you create the conditions for your learning, which means you publish. At some point in time, you're not gonna, you, you have to publish. And you're never going to know it all before you publish. Because there's some things that you just can't know until after it's out there. And you now have the conditions for you to learn the better lessons to do it better next time. Because first time uh, publishing, uh, you just got to do it and take a look and see and say, wow, okay, and learn from there. Uh, you may you may hit it out of the park in that first, on that first one with enough research, but don't let it stymie you. If you're sitting on your, t your manuscript that's ready for a year, two years trying to learn, you imagine what you would have learned in those two years had you published. Yes, that's how you learn. And study critically. Uh, you can look at how other people have done it, and you say, wow, that person's an idiot. Don't think that, because everybody is doing something for a reason. And even if they're doing it to learn, and it wasn't optimal, I published my first book with a cover I did in PowerPoint, edited that I edited because I couldn't find an editor at the time. This was 2015, and just got it out there and had a bad title, had the wrong categories. Everything that was bad and could be wrong was wrong. But I learned. I learned a lot. And you know what? It turned out just fine. Uh, some of the comments I got was, don't leave your day job. Cool, huh? <clears throat> but study critically. Ah, what do I, I absolutely need to get a cover designer. I need to consult on some of these things. Uh, I need to learn more. Uh, there was only one source back then for, for the information that I could find. And it was not a good one. It was a toxic uh, uh, environment. So, <clears throat> don't know what you don't know. Guess what? I learned. I learned fast. And by uh, writing more books and publishing more and more, hey, I learned and I did, uh, I improved with each book. And you saw that. You can see that through my, my financial journey as it's a continual rise in revenue month over month, year over year. So study critically. How can I do better? You never assume anybody's an idiot. They're doing something for a reason. And uh, I do pretty well, right? Write good books, get great reviews. But that first book, if you had read it, if, if you said, oh, this new guy, new book just came out, I want to read it. Uh, yeah, you would have been said, this guy's an idiot. No, just didn't have all the tools to get the best out of that story. And that story, I uh, made it all the way up to number 64 in the overall Amazon store. So, yeah, it did okay once it got the right attention from the right people. So you don't know what you don't know, and I didn't. And now I do on a lot of things, but I still there's a, still an awful lot that I don't know. And so you don't know until you do something, get some good feedback, uh, listen to people you trust, and get it out there and do what you need to do to learn. Thinking you need to know more is self-sabotage. That's, oh, I, I can't publish yet. I'm a perfectionist. Stop it. You're, you're, you're self-sabotaging. Because what does perfect look like? Only the readers can tell you what perfect looks like. Only the public, strangers, strangers who read your genre, they'll tell you what perfect looks like. And it may not be your book. You may have it in the wrong genre, like I did with my first book. With my first books. Make that plural. <clears throat> Don't sabotage yourself. I'm a perfect... No, no. Y you want better, but you need to learn. The learning cycle is see, do, teach. You see, so you learn, you watch, and then you have to do it, and then you teach it. So teaching, not everybody's going to be a teacher, but teaching it to yourself even. You've done it. Now look. Look at it critically. Review uh, what could be done better, and then do it better. That's how you learn. You don't learn by not publishing, by revising your first book ad nauseum cool Latin term for means until it's until you're nauseated 
until you're going to puke. You don't need to do that. You can revise your book. You, Of course you want to publish the best book you can publish. Write the best book you can write. But there's a limit. How many times do you need to dither with something? Are you making it better? You're working on, if you do woodworking, you're sanding something and you're trying to get it perfect. If you keep sanding it, what's going to happen? That's right. Cut it twice and it's still too short. All right. On that note, we'll end with, there's Stanley still hanging out watching me, ready to go out.